everybody. It's BB. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you to my new subbies that uh, subscribed yesterday. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you once again. Uh, today is a uh, cute project from one of my swap groups. We had to make a little mini album out of Starbucks coffee sleeves. And we had to use a minimum of four. And each page had to have three embellishments. So I made one, two, three, four. I used five coffee sleeves. And I know this is backwards, and I apologize for that. But the front, I used this lace here, lace trim that I got at Walmart. And I bought this actually to trim the bottom of a pair of shorts. Uh, I love the shorts, but they were a little too short, and I just thought this would give it a little extra. So anyway, so I cut it in half and used it on the bottom and the back covers. And the paper collections I use are uh, Graphic 45 Secret Garden. This is an oldie. This is from 2013. And I still have a little bit left, but it's beautiful. I also used Crafter's Companion Shabby Chic uh, set that came in a scrapbook magazine from the UK. So Sarah Davies stuff is awesome. And I also used some of what I have left from this photo play collection called Think to Remember. So uh, the theme of the mini album was vintage, uh, vintage garden or vintage shabby chic or combination of all three, whatever you wanted to do. So on the front, I used uh, paper from the photo play collection and a little sticker on the front that says garden and then it has a definition of garden. I used a wooden butterfly from my stash and then on the inside um, I used paper from the Graphic 45 collection and these were like little uh, stamps, little embellishment stamps. So I made two little books. You could use them as put photos, journaling. Um, there's washi tape and bling. The second one I hot glued at the bottom and made a pocket. So there's washi tape, flatback pearls, and a journaling card. And then on the inside, the two tags and this little notebook I made out of the secret garden paper. Just cut it uh, four by two, put some notebook paper inside and stapled it. So that's that page. And the next page is a butterfly belly band that I use my Martha Stewart punch on. And so we have the belly band. We got flatback pearls on the butterfly. And then these are some brass brads. So say that quick, butterflies, brass brads. And then a little photo mat here. I inked everything. I couldn't find my Tim Holtz ink. So this is um, Coco Color Dye Ink Pad from Ranger. Uh, the next page, I used some, some trim. I don't know what you call this because it's like a string and then got like a little feather piece. But anyway, um, so there's that. There's this hanger paperclip from Tim Holtz. A journaling spot. And then on this one... I did a cutout from the Graphic 45. This is from Graphic 45. I put another paper clip and I made a little pocket right here and put two tags. Oh, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, this one, 
is another pocket that I hot glued at the bottom. And this was some just some trim I had in my stash. It's like little white roses with a touch of green. I mean, just a smidge of green in it. Journaling spot, and I put a little metal heart. And then I put two journaling cards, cut them down small, ink them up. This is the second to the last page. Hopefully you can see this. I hate that it's backwards, I'm sorry. This was a rose stamp from the photo uh, from the photo play collection. Two flatback pearls, and I made a, a, a pocket here, and I punched out a bunch of little tags from the various collections for that. This is the second and last page. Another belly band, flat back pearls, and a little, it could be a photo mat, it could be a journaling card, write a note, whatever you want to do with that, and that just slides back in there. And then in the back it says everything for the garden with that trim again. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to put some fibers on the end here. I don't know. I kind of like it the way it is. If I do, it'll be one or two. And I glued everything down with either hot glue or the art glitter glue. Now those of you that haven't used this, this stuff is the bomb. Um, if you're in a cold climate, it's got to be above 40 degrees for them to ship it to you. But this stuff is awesome. You just use a little tiny bit, and I absolutely love it. So I use this and hot glue for the jewelry part and to make the pockets. So that's my project for today for another swap group I'm in. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll be happy to answer it if I can. Don't forget, I, you know, I'm, I love to do swaps, so if anybody's interested in any kind of swap, just hit me up. And uh, that's it for today. It's gorgeous here in South Florida. Got the house open. And if you can make it a crafty day, do so. Bye now.